Hello students, let us prove today the property of 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle from class 9th. So first of all, let us have the statement of the theorem. If the acute angles of a right angled triangle have measures 30 degree and 60 degree, then the length of the side opposite to 30 degree is half of the length of the hypotenuse. So this is the first part of the theorem. So to prove this, we need a diagram. Let us have a triangle ABC, which is a right angle triangle where angle B is equal to 90 degree. And it is given that measure of angle C is 30 degree, measure of angle A is 60 degree. So that's given for triangle ABC. The measures of angles of a triangle are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Now in this, we have to prove that length of side opposite to 30 degree is half of the length of the hypotenuse. A shear side opposite to 30 degree is AB and the hypotenuse is AC as it is a side opposite to a right angle. That's why here we have to prove that side opposite to 30 degree that means AB must be half of AC. That is we have to prove AB is equal to half of AC. Now to prove this we have to do one construction. We have to take point D on the extended segment AB such that AB is congruent with BD and we have to draw segment DC. So after doing construction, we get a triangle like this. We have to take point D on ray AB such that AB is congruent with BD and we have to join segment CD. By doing this construction, we have got two triangles. Now we are going to prove this theorem by form of activity. So we get triangle ABC and triangle DBC. We are trying to show these two triangles congruent. So here the first component is segment AB is congruent to segment DB. As we have done a construction here, so the reason is construction. Then measure of angle ABC is equal to measure of angle DBC, and it is because each of 90 degree because it is given that angle ABC is a right angle, its measure is 90 degree. Angle ABC and angle DBC are angles in linear pair. So if one of the angles in angles in linear pair is a right angle then another must be also a right angle that's why these two angles are congruent because both of them have measures 90 degree and segment bc is congruent to segment bc as it is a common side for both of these two triangles so here we have two sides and angle between them that's why these two triangles are congruent by sas test if these two triangles are congruent then their corresponding angles are also congruent so if we consider angle bac its corresponding angle is BDC. So these two must be congruent. And the reason is corresponding angles of congruent triangles. The measure of angle A is given to be 60 degree. So if measure of angle BAC is 60 degree, measure of angle BDC is also 60 degree. Now for triangle ADC, measure of angle A is 60 degree, measure of angle D is also 60 degree. Then the measure of remaining angle, angle C must be also 60 degree. That's why we get angle DAC is equal to angle ADC is equal to angle ACD is equal to 60 degree as sum of all the measures of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now in this case, if for any triangle, measure of each angle is 60 degree, then it is an equilateral triangle. That's why triangle ADC is an equilateral triangle. And we know that for an equilateral triangle, all sides are also congruent. That is, side AC is congruent to side AD is congruent to side BC. Here, we have constructed AB and BD to be congruent. So, the length of segment AB must be half of length of segment AD. So, we can write here AB is equal to half of AD, which is because of construction. So, instead of AD, we can write AC because we have just written that AC is equal to AD is equal to DC. That's why instead of AD, we can write AC to get AB is equal to half of AC. And this is the first part we have to prove AB is equal to half of AC. Now to get the second part of this theorem, we have the statement. If acute angles of a right angle triangle have measures 30 degree and 60 degree, then the length of the side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. At this time we have to prove the length of the side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. So again consider the same diagram here. 
we have also proved here AB is equal to half of AC in the previous part. We have to use this one. Now, if you consider triangle ABC, which is a right angle triangle, then that by using a Pythagoras theorem, we can write AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So here we can write AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square as AC is the hypotenuse. Instead of AB, we can write one half AC. So AB square is there. That's why we have to make a square of both of these two terms. So half square is one by four, and AC square. That's AC square plus second term BC square as it is. That is equal to AC square. The right hand side as it is. Now if we transfer one by four AC square to the left hand side, it will become minus one by four AC square. To get an equation, BC square is equal to AC square minus one by four into AC square. If we simplify this one, we get 4 into AC square, that is 4 AC square minus AC square, that means 3 by 4 into AC square, that is equal to BC square. Now, if we take square root on both these sides, we get square root of BC square, that's BC, is equal to square root of 3 is root 3 divided by square root of 4 is 2, and square root of AC square is C. So, we get BC is equal to root 3 by 2 into AC. Now if we consider the diagram, BC is the side opposite to 60 degree and AC is the hypotenuse. So here we have proved that side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. That is we wanted to prove the length of side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. So in short, if for a triangle, Majors of angles are 30 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. Then side opposite to 30 degree is half of the hypotenuse, and side opposite to 60 degree is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse.